Okay. Probably the first time, like every summer I come back, it's like hitting me pretty hard. It's like, this is where I did it. This is this is where I killed her. It's, it's bad because you know you can't undo it. Mm. It's like, man, I really screwed this up. Death of a Blastoise. What? This guy is named Harrison Capel. A few months back, I got a fascinating and somewhat bittersweet email from Harrison with the subject, Inquiry Saving a Blastoise's Life. <laughs> he wrote, When I was a kid, I was a major Pokemon nerd. I played my copy of Leaf Green until the buttons wore out on my Game Boy, and my most precious Pokemon was my Blastoise. In 2007, I made a grave mistake. I abused an action replay on my important save file. Mm. I didn't know what I was doing as I was only seven, but somehow, mm -mm. with some combination of cheats, I raised my Blastoise's level well beyond what it was supposed to be, at most 100. Upon rebooting my game, she was gone, replaced by a bad egg. No. I tried everything. <laughs> I hatched the egg, I tried more cheats, but nothing worked. I wrote her off for as good as dead for over a decade, but recently I've begun to wonder if resurrecting my beloved partner could be possible. I don't know if you can help, but after watching hours of your work and preserving McDonald's games and Domino's apps, I figured you might be the right guy for the job. Hmm. Let me know if you can help. Best Harrison. This idea really intrigued me, especially because, as it so happens, I had a childhood experience very similar to Harrison's. Both of you are cheaters. <laughs> Tried to cheat at least. It's an action replay. So one day when I was about eight or nine years old, I found myself standing around outside, really bored, waiting for my brother's soccer game to wrap up. <laughs> and as a kid, I was a huge, huge Pokemon fan. I had just gotten a copy of Pokemon Blue version for Christmas, and I was playing it every single day. But on this particular day, I had borrowed a Game Shark from a friend, and mm -hmm. I was messing around with a bunch of cheat codes I'd found on the internet. Mm -hmm. And I keep adding more and more of these codes until eventually something really bizarre happens. At one point, I'm walking through some tall grass and a wild <laughs> lieutenant surge appears. Like, the gym leader appears in the tall grass as though he was a what? Pokemon. And clearly something is going horribly wrong here, but the idea of fighting and maybe even capturing this feral adult man was <laughs> hilarious to me, so what? of course, I battled him. Mm. And the battle had barely even started when he uses an attack called TM-05. Uh-oh. And instantly the game freezes and won't respond to any of my inputs. And I think, oh well, I guess the game's just crashed. So I turn it off and turn it on again. And for the first time since I got the game on Christmas morning... Mm. The title screen says new game. The continue option is gone. I start panicking and I start trying everything. I try taking out the game shark and putting the cartridge in directly. I try blowing into the cartridge. I turn the Game Boy off and on again hundreds of times over and over. And every single time it just says new game. And quickly it dawns on me that Aww. all of my work, <laughs> my save file, all of my badges, my team of Pokemon, including my favorite Pokemon, Doug Trio. All at once, in the blink of an eye, every Pokemon I had ever captured was dead. That's what you get, I no was cheating. Devastated. You a cheater, that's what you get, cheater. <laughs> cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. So it probably goes without saying that because of that traumatic childhood Pokemon memory, I really, really wanted to help Harrison bring his long lost Blastoise back from the dead. But I didn't want to get Harrison's hopes up before I knew whether or not this was even theoretically possible. So I put out some feelers and after a little bit of searching, I eventually found somebody with a deep understanding of the GBA Pokemon games. Hmm. An anonymous Pokemon expert we'll call Gary. According to Gary, not only was he uniquely qualified to answer this, but there is basically no one on Earth who knows Gen 3 Pokemon data structures better than him. So 
I explained Harrison's situation to him and asked, could we possibly help bring Harrison's Blastoise back from the other side? Gary's answer? A resounding maybe. Gary explained that in layman's terms, the bad egg appears when a Pokemon's data is corrupted. Mm -hmm. The good news was that the Pokemon could just be very lightly corrupted, and the data could still be in there, but it shows as a bad egg regardless. The bad news is that because Harrison said he tried playing the game with the bad egg in his party and even tried hatching it, that could have messed with things further. In short, Gary's answer was inconclusive. He told me that this Blastoise could be salvageable, but it also could be damaged beyond repair, and the only way to know for sure would be to check the data on the cartridge ourselves, and that would mean getting our hands on it in person. Hmm. So, I passed all of this information along to Harrison and explained that there was no guarantee that this would work, but if he was willing to try, I was willing to join him on that journey. Okay. And Harrison agreed. So, with this plan now fully in motion, I asked Gary what sort of hardware we would need to pull this off, and he pointed me towards this. An obscure little device known as the Joey Jr., a handmade cart dumper and flasher created by an Australian hobbyist named Ben Venn. Okay. I ordered this thing sight unseen with no understanding of how it would even work, and eventually it arrived. And meanwhile, Harrison booked a ticket and got on a flight to North Carolina in search of closure. <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, that's funny. Cool. Alrighty, so we're here meeting up with this kid Harrison. He flew all the way down to North Carolina to meet up and work on this. I've got this device here from Australia that is apparently the machine that will help us do this. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't, it feels very light, I'm a little worried, but I think it's in here. But I think we have all the ingredients except for Harrison, so let's go. Fine. And you, you know everything you need to know in order to be able to I mean, pull it off? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This could be a huge bust. Hey, How's it good to see you? Thanks for coming all the way down here. No, I have a pleasure. This is a lot of fun. Hi, nice yeah. to meet hey, you. Great to meet you, Robert. By the way, do you prefer Harrison or Harry? Either works. Oh. Let's get this out. No problem. This all right. is the, the Game Boy and game in question. Do you mind? May I? Take it away. Could we look at the egg now? Yeah, sure. That uh, yeah. Would, that Put would it be up great. before we left. Yeah, let's take a look at the little, the, the state of affairs here. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> Blowing on the yeah, cartridge. Hey, what up, Shadow? Good to was, see you. Was this Good your to first see you. Pokemon game? This was my first Pokemon game. I was like really young when I got maybe like five years old or something little. Yeah, like before parents would just give you the iPad and like right. make kids quiet that way. Oh, man. I loathe the, uh, I loathe the, parents with the iPads for the kids. They don't understand. But good to see you. This is just the, I'm just wrapping up here, a uh, short stream, but uh, we're watching if this kid can resurrect a Pokemon that vanished 15 years ago. So he was messing with like a Game Shark or one of those like action replay things, if you know, back in the day. But um, you would do it to uh, like put cheats into your games. Um, but unfortunately Pokemon and other games have protection against that. And so when he did that, he changed his like most beloved Pokemon of Blastoise into a bad egg. So that's what Pokemon's or Nintendo's uh, thing is. If you try to corrupt a save file or any kind of file on their game, they like put your Pokemon in there. And then it like, sometimes it can just delete all of your saves. I am, yes, Shadow. I'm going on vacay. <laughs> Estefano. It was a misclick. It was a misclick, Shadow. N don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> wow, usually this is for um, Shadow. But uh, got to give the bonk to Estefano, even if accidentally. <laughs> Just out of principle. Um, but yes, I will be gone until next. Um, I get back... Uh, uh, Friday? So either Saturday or Sunday is uh, when I'll stream. If I had to put a hard date on it, it would be next Sunday, but optimistically, it would be next Saturday. So this whole next week, I'll be gone on like a weird family vacation. It's not like a, it's like a, it's like a family vacation, but with extra emotions and feelings. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. So it's really interesting, but, uh, but yeah, but yeah. Europeans played the nasty version of Wordle today. Really? <laughs> what?
What? Oh boy. But yeah, we're just uh, doing some React Ronald here. Uh, you know, the Game Boy was the way to do it. And that was literally the first cards I had. I played the thing to death. Well, I was so hooked on this stuff. It was, I have fire it was red. Like a drug to me. Like, I, was I do not have leaf like green. No one else. And I did something really stupid. When I was at my friend's house, I used one of the cheat codes and I yep, did it. Never wrong. do it. And at like seven years old, like this is like summer 2007, summer 2008, um, I tried to make my Blastoise really strong. Uh -huh. and I gave it too many levels. And I've come to learn that creates a lot of problems, mm -hmm. serious, serious, uh, like data saving issues that causes the, the Pokemon basically to disappear and turn into this bad egg. It is Do weird. you remember like what you were feeling when you realized what had happened? That was like the, that was like a bad moment. I, I remember that <laughs> vividly. Like, How old were you? I was like seven or eight, man. It was like a, it was like one of those summertime days. You're so over at a friend's house. And this is like a pit in your heart. It's like, oh, sh like I really screwed up and it's, yeah, it's, it's it's bad because you know you can't undo it either. And right. Like it's like you know it's uh, I think like you said Icarus flying too close to the sun. <laughs> yeah. And it's just a little bit too high, and it's like man, I really screwed this up. Oh, here we go. Here's Bill. Okay. Yo. What up, dog? Hey, Bill. Bill, have, have you known Harrison a long time? Oh yeah, since like age five. Like this blast has been gone for a long time. <laughs> who, who was the person whose action replay was involved in this? Uh, I think it was mine, right? Game Shark, right? Yep. Yeah. Interesting. You were the man with the codes. Oh my god. Wow. So you, you probably have some, about some personal some personal guilt, hopefully, that we're able to assuade by, by fixing this. This exactly. this rift in your friendship can finally be healed. <laughs> <laughs> After all these years. After all these yeah, years. Gosh. Yeah, it looks like an egg. And it's just kind of screwed up the whole way through. There's nothing you can do with it. It's you you said you out. tried everything. You tried hatching it, right? I tried hatching it, but it mm. gives you that big question mark. Right. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? It's like, and sometimes they're inverted, and it's just like really weird, and it's like feels like you've done something wrong. And uh, I felt miserable about having killed my starter Pokemon <laughs> from when I was five years old. I think it's especially intense if you have this catastrophic thing happen when you're a child. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because when you're playing it, it feels like the whole world kind of, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. when you're a kid. Very true. And then you also don't have, like, the skills as a child to cope with, like, loss yeah. and things being disappointing. Yeah. And so it's just like, I think when, whenever that kind of stuff happens, oh, it feels so like a oh, life-changing totally. experience. Totally. I was bummed for weeks when I lost my, my blue version save. Yeah. Losing my all my most precious Pokemon. I just, like, it was never really the same for me. I played the later ones. I enjoyed, like, Fire Red and Leaf Green and and diamond and pearl but i just it was never the same so and it's it's probably especially heartbreaking because like this generation of pokemon you could have theoretically like brought this same blastoise with you all the yeah. way through the modern pokemon games mm -hmm. and you, that's crazy it's been trapped in this cartridge this whole time so hopefully at the you end of you can take it that far can, like, move it into pokemon oh. bank or whatever i, didn't I know would that. definitely make the effort to get this thing into the cloud that's crazy. i want it safe i don't want to dude i want to fix the issue yeah and somewhere in some server nintendo is going to keep this thing safe for me <laughs> that's <laughs> right i hope we can yeah. we can save you know i should probably have talked to like a veterinarian first to see like how you <laughs> how you help brace somebody for like oh, yeah. what if we can't save it but <laughs> you know like <laughs> to have tried is sort of what yeah. here. like this is the best if, if it can't be done here there's it's never going to be i'll yeah. do my my best yeah, I'm, this is all uncharted territory for mm -hmm. me also, Yeah, but we'll see. Okay. Step one was dumping the cartridge. In other words, we would be taking the contents of Harrison's years old Pokemon game and copying it onto my computer hard drive so we could take a closer look and diagnose the problem. Luckily, I had brought exactly the right tool for the job. So do you know what's in this, this box? I'm excited to find out, I'll tell you that. Truthfully, so am I. I don't really know. This came from Australia. And it is, apparently this is the sole device that exists that can help us with Shiny this. border. I, the guy I talked to when I hit him up, he was like, you reach out to Love one of the, the only shiny people border. on the planet who can like, who is very experienced with this and can help you. And he's going to be kind of on call for this. So we have backup. He lives in like Sweden, but wow. Wow. Go, this is an international project. It, they always end up being international <laughs> for some reason. I don't know it's why. International I escapade here. I know. I wonder how many of us there are. How many people who have like a tragedy that befell them because they flew a little too close to the sun, Pokemon-wise. Okay. Far too many. Oh, on the this cards. I didn't, like I didn't know what like you meant by the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. 
and it's got a USB C. I'm a fan of the G of the OG like Gen One Pokemon oh, yeah. cards. So this definitely goes in there. I love the original. I suspect so. Yeah. Nothing beats the original. I feel like a surgeon, you know? <laughs> like I'm. It feels like we're doing open heart surgery to save this Blastoise here. And this, these are all my kind tools. of. So here's a little this bit. thing. It's called PK Hex. Um, it is a Pokemon Core Series save editor, and mm. I have it on good authority that this is exactly what we need. So we're gonna try. Okay. It's like an operating table. Dude, it really does feel like, I've thought about renting out like a, a hospital set or something <laughs> just to really make it feel like we were doing surgery. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Um, it just mounted. Here's all the contents of the cartridge. Like, I feel like once we've got the cart backed up, we can breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief, yeah. you know? Okay. It's nerve wracking too, because this is sort of outside the realm of oh, things yeah. you're supposed to do. For sure. And that kind of that kind of stuff is exactly what caused it to, to get broken in the <laughs> first place. <laughs> it's true. We could end up with like a real Full Metal Alchemist Chimera situation oh, where yeah. your last oh, toys no. is back, but it's just like begging for us to kill it. Oh, oh no, that would be sex. horrible. <laughs> <laughs> They are Shadow. They're trying to retrieve a Plastoise that he lost way long ago when he was trying to uh, trying to use a uh, Game Shark or an Action Replay. Like you plug it in and it gives you cheats and hacks and stuff. But in doing so, Pokemon like removed or messed with the the uh, his original save file and his OG Blastoise. So this dude flew from like states away just to try and get this fixed like this is kind of crazy <laughs> he flew to this guy and then the he plugged the cartridge into something he got suggested from the dude in sweden said that he needed to get that thing from australia to plug into the cartridge to retrieve the data so that they could <laughs> fix it i don't know <laughs> it's crazy step two was to open up harrison's copy of the game in this software called pk hex what PK Hex should do is let us manipulate the contents of this cartridge and hopefully save his Blastoise. Okay. Or at least that was the plan. So there's an open option. Let's go leaf green. Okay. There we go. That looks looking, looking right. Oh. Maybe I'm opening the wrong file. Oh, no. Hmm. This could be caused by loading a different generation Pokemon file on an unsupported generation or your file is corrupt. It's a uh -oh. bit of a scary error, but yeah, let, me, let me see if I can bring in this guy. This is the person from Sweden, I think. Hey, okay. hey you can hear us, right? I can indeed. Okay, cool. Which of these files are ought we be, to be opening? Uh, flash dot save. Okay. Binary is not compatible with save file. Hmm. Binary is not compatible with save file. What? So you know, what I believe might have happened is that the bad eggs are so bad that this um, that this program is like, oh, no, I don't know what to do with this data. Oh, I don't know. Whoa. So uh, what you should start by doing is because it's his childhood off, shadow. That's why. Okay. <laughs> what do you recommend? It means a uh, lot MGBA. to him. MGBA. It's like a child so, that he so lost. <laughs> It is kind of ridiculous that he cares this much, so but it is hilarious and entertaining. Cool. So trying to do. Oh boy. Uh oh. Now that's interesting. Uh oh. Hmm. Is it a bad dump? It could be a bad dump. This is when we started to get nervous. I've had a but few of those. According to Gary, <laughs> there was no need to panic just yet. It was oh, still possible God. that we had just mounted the cartridge incorrectly. Come on, I had to. I had to say that. Over again could solve our woes. So we tried it, and once again, it didn't work. Another That's bad when Gary dump. Gary asked us to send him the data so he could take a closer <laughs> look and figure out what day. the problem was. Well, I'm going to compare these real quick to see how big a difference we're talking about. So I the, take the that as a compliment, to see Shadow. Just how corrupted <laughs> this ROM is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like maybe it's just a couple of bits. As long as I'm not maybe boring. This is just nonsense. Uh, so yeah, oh. we just got a bunch of zeros. The the dump is bad. Wow. Hmm. So the red the red <laughs> entries here are the ones that don't match with your totally clean, basic, normal ROM of leaf green. <laughs> uh, that's not good. This was frustrating. This whole part of the process, dumping Harrison's game onto the PC and looking at the contents, 
This was supposed to be the easy part, and it was going disastrously. Really? That was yeah. supposed to be the easy part. Uh, um, so what does that what does that tell us exactly? It tells you that um, something went wrong in the dumping process. No matter how many times we mounted and remounted this game, the dumps kept coming out bad. It was beginning to feel like this rescue operation was over before it had even gotten a chance to begin. But it oh turns no. out our remote Pokemon expert had one more suggestion. Mm. And it was something so bizarre and counterintuitive to me and Harrison that we could hardly believe our ears. Do you have any isopropanol or... Uh, isopropyl or alcohol! Uh, isopropyl oh my gosh! I was about alcohol. to say that! No. I was There's literally about to say that. hotel we could go to. Get a shot of vodka or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. Um, I was about to say that! Because uh, I, because I, uh, I sell like video games on the side as well, and that is what you use to clean like cartridge and like plastic on video games is isopropyl alcohol. It is, uh, it is safe to use on electronics if you have a higher than ninety percent proof of it. So it's like the same stuff you would use on like if you have a, like uh, if you like scrape your knee or something, it's the stinging alcohol. It's literally the same thing, but you have to use like over 90% and it actually does work. It like cleans electronics and apparently they're going to use it on this to see if they can get a, 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 a clear, clear save or a uh, transfer, a, cl a clean dump. <laughs> they're going to try and not get a bad dump and get a clean dump. Oh my God. Paper, put some just regular old water on it. Uh, and like stick it in and try to wipe off the contacts as best you can and then stick in a, a dry piece of toilet paper and wipe up all it the It seems scary because it's a liquid, right. but mm, it sure. does work. Yeah. Sure thing. This is the nerdy right. version of Housewives. <laughs> Shadow. Water. Have you been watching Napkin. too many Housewives lately? Well, you, you just compare it, it to then just compare every down. show to Housewives. This feels wrong. I know this is not as dangerous as it feels, but like water in a GBA cart feels Really? Yeah, no, I'm with you. It feels terrible. <laughs> it uh, feels terrible. Is, what I've learned doing electronics is what well, water is dangerous is because it um, contains minerals that are conductive, which means that if you pour it on a device that is running, you'll cause a short and that'll break things. But if you pour water on something that is off, no electricity is running through that. So it's actually fine. All right. So we've 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 wetted it and now we're yeah. drying it. We're now drying. Is it with They're just water? They really do need al isopropyl alcohol for this. Nice. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be just water. Not could, really. Yeah, you, not really. Nothing visible. All right. Me, I, it wouldn't take much. It's kind of hard to see. All right. Cool. We're safe to plug it in now. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. All right. It, Come on, baby. It's actually not showing up right now. I'll just like unplug. I think because I ejected it. <laughs> how, you just, how I managed oh, to make yeah, you intrigued by this. It yeah, is wait, intriguing. Hold on. So it's mounted. I just want to so see if it works. Yeah, it's now showing these. Now showing, let's see here. Hey! This is good news? Yes, this is amazing. Which means that it's actually- It worked. Game, which means <laughs> it you, worked. my friend, have a successful dump on your hands. What the hell? Okay, good. Yes, Dude, a clean was, dump. Well, this is exciting. I'm trying not to get my hopes up. Like, but he but got a clean very, dump. This seems very promising. Golf claps. Like, this, this is, Golf this claps is, for the clean dump. <laughs> With Harrison's childhood Pokemon game finally backed up safely on my laptop, we were feeling good. Sure, we still had quite a ways to go, but this was a crucial part of the process. Okay. And for a brief moment, we allowed ourselves to revel in this small victory. This is only the Dude, start, that's, though. They that's just huge. They just have that's everything huge, connected. Huge. They haven't um, saved his Blastoise. Um, this, now, I'm a, now, like the the heart rate's going. Dude, it's, this, <laughs> this feels is... this feels like a victory. Wow, the water trick yeah. worked. <laughs> what would we do without you, dog? I I'm so glad I was like, let me just see if he's available to. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, there she goes. Whoa. Okay. Now, with Harrison's save file safely in hand, it was time to load it up in an emulator and see if we could jog any of his memories. All right, so should we pull it up in an emulator? Just. Yeah. Hey! Holy moly. Okay. Classic. 
Classic. Wow. All right, this is this is good news. Oh, that's great news. Yeah, oh. You're 303 hours. Yeah. 300 so hours? You guys can't tell. Like, there's only seven characters oh, for your so name, romantic. and Harrison is eight characters. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why you're oh, Harrison. no. Yeah. You hadn't discovered being Poor Harrison. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's taking me on a roller coaster here. <laughs> this is indeed an emotional roller coaster. Wow. So right, heck e, e exclamation mark question mark male female. Okay, so they're like they're not they're playing it through an emulator, so on his computer, not on the actual like cartridge and GBA. So they're playing it through <laughs> through the cartridge is where they're getting all of his old Pokemon and now they're bringing it to the emulator and seeing if they can retrieve what I assume will be the Blastoise, but we'll see it probably as a bad egg, and they're going to see if they can change it from the bad egg back to the original Blastoise. Forward slash. Yes, yeah, so this is like pre-spelling abilities. <laughs> pre-spelling? Pre-literacy. You have a Nidoran female named ABCDEFGHI4. <laughs> this, I love that these names look like they've also been corrupted. I know. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's real. true. I remember that, the Hiki one. They've been corrupted really like naturally by his own brain. This is, this is like an inv invasion, invasion of privacy. Yeah. No, this is like an in-game. <laughs> no, this is what we're trying privacy. to archive here. This needs to, this needs to remain private what, information. What if he, what if he, like, what if he put, like, a, a, like... I know it's not in here, but like, what if he named Low Punny like his childhood crush or something? <laughs> like, if Gardevoir was named his like eight-year-old crush, that'd be hilarious. This is yeah, very personal. You and the Pokemon. Yeah, After we were done making fun of the names of Harrison's childhood Pokemon, we decided to continue our search. So I asked Harrison where he thought we could find the bad egg that used to contain his Blastoise. All right, so. Would it be in your your party? Uh, it would be in the PC. I see. So mm. you kept playing after this happened to you as a kid. You just were like, I'll just put my favorite dead Pokemon in the PC. Is this Aww, where it is? Sash. That's the Mewtwo that was in a Great Ball. That was like the biggest deal in the world when Ooh. that happened. You caught a Mewtwo in a Great Ball? Yeah, that was like a it was like a big deal for at seven years old. It was like, holy moly. <laughs> oh, there okay, they are. okay. There might be there some others too. Do you know which one is which? Do you think I you... have no idea. Might be some others. Interesting. Oh. He has multiple right. bad eggs. Yep. That's uh, what you expect to, to find. Cool. Yeah. They're box four, then we know. Yeah. Right. There might be there might be some others in the other box. Oh yeah. One or two more. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh man. Yeah. Never mind. You got a you got <laughs> a spreading half dozen bad uh, eggs. No, no, some of those are good. You're getting so messed up, man. I know. It's oh, kind of no. sad. Man, that's right. that's like trip down memory yeah, lane, yeah. huh? That's just because those are like deep memories. Like again, two seven years old. Like, right. Right. <laughs> that's intense. Like a decade and a half ago. I, um, I also lost my Pokemon Sapphire cartridge because my father sold it without asking me. Wow. Dang. Yeah, that's, that's that a sad is. story. So we all have Pokemon tragedies, which is why we're also invested in solving this one. I would hate to, I like when I go to garage sales, you know, I love trying to find these old Pokemon games, but I, I would feel horrible if it was like a parent just like clearing out uh, and they didn't the thing is if they didn't ask their kid like every time i've gone on sales and stuff the stuff i've bought like it's always the parents saying the kids don't want it anymore and so uh, i hope that they're telling the truth on that and not just speaking for them because i would feel horrible if like i got all of these amazing like ruby sapphire red blue leaf green fire red like all these games diamond pearl and it was some kids like childhood memories of of so many years of pokemon games oh my gosh i'd feel terrible but luckily i haven't had that yet at this point, it seemed like we had our work cut out for us. All we had to do was load up Harrison's cartridge in this save editor, PK Hex, and hopefully we'd be able to use that to look at the bad eggs and figure out which one contained Harrison's Blastoise. Okay. So should we load it up in the software here? Yeah, yeah, do it. We've got the copied dump here. Not the copied. Oh, open, open the one in the, uh, the original. I open the save file, right? Yeah, exactly. Fire red, uh, leaf green, the... generation three save yeah. file detected. This is exciting. Mm. Holy oh, nice. Ooh. I'm liking this already. So this was originally a Marowak named Bone Man. That's, that's <laughs> bad. Bone Man. <laughs> Stop. You got an OT on that. We're, we're doing so the paleontology funny. now. Yeah, you oh, caught him on Victory Road. It is a bone. Wow. It's a this bone boy. Let's go to one of the bad egg boxes. It's the one with the Wobbuffet in it. Oh my god. We got a Wobbuffet. 
No, I think those are the ones that are alive. I think the eggs aren't showing. Hmm. Wait, really? Yeah, and those top spots, I think there was at least one egg. Yeah, I was about to say, they're not showing up. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull it up in an emulator so we can look at these side by side. Mm. All right, let's oh, see. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, look at that. Mm. So, box four, it's not showing the bad no, eggs. No, it's not showing the bad eggs at all. What if I click okay, is so egg? Good. There's a checkbox here called is, is egg? egg. Oh, I'm changing the oh. Pokemon oh. into an egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can turn Pokemon into eggs. Okay, so it looks like uh, huh. PK Hex simply ignores invalid Pokemon. So it looks like we won't be able to to rely on it. Hmm. Like if no save editor ends up being able to do it, we're going to have to look at the raw bytes. Uh, which thankfully, you know, you have... We have you. <laughs> the only yeah, human being on Earth who would even know where to start with this. Uh, yeah. yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So this is, this is our guy on the outside, like in the Matrix, the guy who like watches the numbers fall down. <laughs> That's oh, pretty accurate. Coded? Well, you have to. You get used to it. I, I don't even see the code. That's pretty so at accurate. At this point, it's become abundantly clear that PK Hex isn't going to cut it. Harrison's corrupted Pokemon data straight up would not appear in the software, and Dang. that meant we would have to look at other solutions. Oh, That's when no. Gary suggests another piece of similar software called A-Save, a tool that he hoped might actually work for this. Hmm. Because the thing is, since we're doing something so weird, um, different software has, has different um, capabilities, so we might as well try one or two more different save editors. Okay. I like that this music has been playing the entire I know. time. They've just been playing the- It's not as soothing as it usually is. No, definitely not. That's I'm funny. I'm actually gonna mute this It's like taunting him. Okay, storage. Storage. Trying a save. Box okay, one. a new one save. Cross your fingers, y'all. Process. Box two. Ooh! Oh, oh snap. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wait, it's showing stuff that's like- There's a Persian here that's not showing up even as a bad egg. Huh. Look at that. Yeah. There's a Persian between the Abra and Bone Man. Oh, so that thing's like really dead. Yeah, that thing's ultra, ultra f***ed up. <laughs> Not only was A-Save showing us the bad eggs Six in feet under. storage, it was showing us much, much more than we'd bargained for, including a smattering of glitched out Pokemon that were totally invisible on Harrison's cartridge. Wow. We've got a more Pokerg Centret. Not one cent. <laughs> I don't know what that is. None of us knew exactly what these Pokemon were. Were they bits of data left over from Pokemon he'd released into the wild years ago? Or were these the spectral remnants of Pokemon Harrison had inadvertently corrupted out of existence when he was a kid? Mm. Let's, let's just look at the bad eggs real quick. At any rate, our hope had been that A-Save would let us click edit on those bad eggs and that the data inside would help us figure out which one was his missing Pokemon. Yeah. Can we edit any of these? This one's grayed out. This one's grayed out. Hmm. Unfortunately though, when clicking on the bad eggs, the edit button was totally grayed out. Which left us with one option. Going through each and every Pokemon in Harrison's storage, dead or alive, looking for some sign of his long lost Blastoise. Hmm. Zinx, Machop, Meowth, Tauros, Weeping Bell. I feel like I'm doing the Poke Rap right now. <laughs> Deoxys, Unknown, <laughs> Doduo, Tangela. Yeah, we're not seeing it. By the way, can you send me this save file so I can start looking at the binary while you're looking in the oh, GUI? Yeah, Maybe we'll save some time that way. Totally. Opening it in a hex editor. So, uh, here is the Bulbapedia. This page is crazy. The, uh, <laughs> the save data structure in Generation 3, a uh, Bulbapedia article that I helped write. <laughs> so, okay. Wow. Um, we got a real expert here. Okay. Only this. Uh, here is Having been completely unsuccessful thus far in pinpointing this supposed Blastoise, Gary decided it was time for him to wade into the ones and zeros himself. And he began looking for any shred of this Blastoise remaining anywhere on Harrison's cartridge. Hmm. And while that might sound like a long shot, the approach he comes up with is actually extremely clever. I mean, should we start by looking at the Hall of Fame? Because if I recall, Harrison, you said that you had finished the game with this Blastoise once? Yes. Okay. Twice, okay. I think, actually. Then we can start by looking at the Hall of Fame because we know, based on that, that Blastoise will be found there. Okay. Uh, here we have the Hall of Fame data. So as you can see here, the Hall of Fame consists of an array of 50 Pokemon teams that have been the champion. Oldest record first. And most likely, since Blastoise is your starter, I'm going to assume that Blastoise was in your team the first time you yeah. beat the Elite. This Blastoise. was the Blastoise that carried him through the game. Yeah, probably, yeah. And by the way, if you don't totally understand what he's doing in this next part, don't worry, neither did we. <laughs> I'm just so excited to see how you're gonna go from just along this wall of text to- Yeah, so I will do a little bit of a bit mask. 
Classic. That's that's what I would do too in this situation. Absolutely. Yep. I agree. So what we're doing is we're masking out the bits of this number that contain the data we don't want, and uh, only looking at the part we do want. So, species nine. Do you know which Pokemon is number nine? My heart. Holy shit. Wait, in the Pokedex? In well, the Pokedex. let's see here. We got Bulbasaur's number one, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Squirtle, Wartortle, and then number nine. Is oh, dang. Yes. So, okay. This is the correct entry in the Hall of Fame. This is the correct. He was the first Pokemon in your team, and I salute you for it. Or in wow. if he was he, it. It's gonna be a female. Let's see what it was named, shall we? I think it was no nickname, and it was a female Blastoise. Okay. It was a female Blastoise, and it was not named. It was just named Blastoise. That I think that's right. <laughs> um, this is so awesome. Wow. Okay. Bring him back. So, or bring her back. We have <laughs> your Blastoise's personality value from which we can reconstruct things. And huh. what remains is to see if we can find the bad egg that corresponds to it and maybe get, uh, get even more information about it. Okay. Okay. So here we're going to need to get into some programming nonsense. We're going to need to look at a whole lot of zoom and uh, random nonsense and try to, to figure out what it means. Basically, we just need a, a quick little table to translate between Unicode and the uh, the ch character set found in the Pokemon games. Yes, We're just gonna search through of the, course. The raw bytes. We're going to use this table here to search for Blastoise. <laughs> okay. So that would be wow. B, B, C, and then. C, yeah. And then B, B, and then C, D. And B. what we're doing here is we're telling the emulator how to translate these raw bytes into actual text that we can read. You're looking at the you're looking at the entries inside an emulator right now in real time as you toggle through the boxes. Yeah. That's it's insane to me. I, <laughs> to you, this is nuts. This is going to be hexadecimal. Okay, so hex, bam. There we go. There are more things open than I have fingers. It's not in memory, which is interesting, because that means it's probably not in your party. Hmm. We're going to be searching for it as if it were a number and not text. I can't believe it. Like, <laughs> oh, this keeps doubling She's coming home. sophistication and knowledge needed every 30 seconds. So... Let's look in the in your boxes real quick, and we'll see if we can find it. Not in box three. Not in box four. Not in box five. Hmm. Let's just freaking search the file for Blastoise. Just search it. Bam. Oh. What? What? No way. Wait, what'd you find? The only occurrence of the string Blastoise in all of the save file is the Hall of Fame entry. So the egg, like, was so possibly bad, possibly the egg was so badly corrupted that it didn't even have the name in it anymore. They'd like, it, there's no... Yeah, I no, mean, the, the nickname is gone. The thing is, if it's so badly corrupted that the nickname is gone, I am guessing that this also means that the rest of it is gone? No. 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 <laughs> no way. No, there's no, no way. It goes without saying that this wasn't what any of us wanted to hear. What? According to Gary, it wasn't time to completely give up hope yet. I okay. cannot a hundo p guarantee that that is the case. It's possible that we still have some vestige left of the blast toys, but it will take a bit of programming to trawl through the save file and find that. Mm. From there, Gary hopped off the call to focus on finding this blast toys, and meanwhile, we took the chance to catch up Bill on what had happened so far. So a lot of digging's been done. The dude that is helping us with this is like 
so beyond overqualified, it doesn't even make sense. It's about six more times more complex than you could ever imagine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'd I say a hundred. I thought that this was going to be the type of video where knowledgeable people watch it and be like, that was easy. That wasn't that hard. Why is he making such a big deal out of it? But like, there's irrefutable evidence in this that we've documented that this shit is psychotically complicated <laughs> and that we could never have done it Dang. on our own. Mm -hmm. It's the, it looks fake. It looks like he's just like crawling through code and opening up like C++. Manually like going through and figuring out what the specific like ASCII codes for Japanese characters are and then typing them into a hex editor type of thing. Like, <laughs> and then reading hexadecimal like he's like it's the matrix coming down on a screen bill. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It's really intense. <laughs> A Jurassic Park situation. Yeah, so we're uh, we're about to check in with the guy who's been helping us out and see what he's been up to for the past few minutes. Let's see here. Holy sh! Wait, what? Robert, hold Robert, on, Robert, Robert, Robert. You're... We've got some news. He said, he said seven minutes ago. We like moved locations. He said. I found it. The last bad egg in box four is the Blastoise. What? We gotta, we gotta get him on the on the we board. We found right it. Now. Yeah. What? Okay, so, like, I gotta show you this really quickly. It's 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 literally a, a Discord thing, all caps. I found it. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. Yo, dude, we just like switched locations and opened the laptop and saw an all caps message from you saying I found it. <laughs> Dude, you found it. This okay. Is, this is nutty. So I made actually this PC program that takes a uh, Pokemon from a either generation two or generation three and converts it to the format of the other uh, of the other generation. But as a side effect, this program also decrypts everything and prints it out to the console so you can inspect the Pokemon and see what it is. Okay. So, I just happen to have this, not something that literally anyone else has since, you know, it's living on my hard drive. This, this software that, that ultimately was instrumental in us saving this is a piece of yes. software you wrote that you have not released or distributed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Not something that is publicly released. Oh it's my just god. something I happened to write in 2015, you know? Oh my what? god. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so let's, let's, uh, we've got, yeah, trainer, Hariso, nature, mild, female, not shiny, we knew that. Um, anything else? Here's jump out the at problem. Pro oh. Yeah, so here's the problem. Mm. Um, I found the blast hole. It is the last bad egg in box four. And I can now tell what the heck is wrong with it. What's wrong with it? Uh-oh. The encrypted data section is completely and entirely corrupted. Okay, so like that's why this 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 printout on the side here this is errored. It's the species index was wrong, the the attached item and the four moves, all those are errored out too. Which is why we didn't find it when we searched for Blastoise, because the species was errored. So, but Correct me if I'm wrong. These are all things that are easy to fix because it's all data that we have elsewhere or we know from your memory, right? Yes, uh, a couple of things will be a little bit tricky. Well, I say a little bit tricky, but I mean largely impossible. <laughs> and that is the EVs and the IVs. We have all the stats for the Pokemon that are inherent and immutable. Nice. Mm -hmm. Cool. I have a question. Yeah. Are we, right now with finding a Blastoise, are you talking about recovering the original Blastoise, or are you talking about recreating it from well, the... what has happened here is that we found the exact egg that had the original in it, and so between the recoverable data from that and the data that we have in um, the Hall of Fame, this is a, this is a like, this will be a basically indistinguishable from the original, short a couple statistics that are not fixed anyway. Hmm. There are ethical questions being raised by what we're doing ethical here Ethical questions? What happens to identity? What happens to personality? We live in an era of breathtaking scientific discovery. At a certain point, this Blastoise will be indistinguishable from the original Blastoise. Imagine a world where death could be cheated. Is it the same? That is up to your philosophy. 
Right. The ship of Theseus. Yeah, yeah, yeah the totally ship of Theseus. Yeah, totally. It's it'll like... be done for emotional reasons. It'll be done to to offset some pathological grief mechanism that thinks that somehow we will be able to recover the identity just because we recover the genetic profile. The way mm. I see it is sort of like a Jurassic Park situation. We are <laughs> sort of cloning this last voice because there are some things about it that we don't know. Are those things important? Not really. I believe this whole business is horribly uh, and unethical. <laughs> but that's for that's for later generations to to deal with. That's not our problem. If you replace one bite in a Blastoise, like over the course of seventeen years or whatever, <laughs> is it still the same Blastoise at the end of yeah, it? Yeah, uh, the Blastoise of Theseus, of course. The clone isn't really entirely a clone. The clone shall inherit the world. It looks like all our hard work is finally paying off. It's kind of like wow. the teleporter paradox, if anything. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. totally. If Blastoise, yeah, if the Blastoise is 100% identical... And the original one is destroyed. Blastoise. Any technology has its good side and its bad side. I'm struck by looking at, like, this document you have open from Bulbapedia that I, yeah. that I think you co-wrote, where it's talking about the substructure order and the the... The growth attacks EVs and conditions, and the different, like, GAEM, GAME, GEAM, GEMA, all the different variations, and how much it looks like, like, just Gattaca-ass human DNA. <laughs> Cloning, once Absolutely. thought of as wild science fiction fantasy, has now become a reality. It puts so much power into our hands. We got ACs, Ts, and Gs in here. Really? Yeah, like, <laughs> this is like, there are ethical questions. Well, that's not for us to do, that's... That's for a higher power, that's for God. <laughs> what we're doing now is you are firing up PKX and we're editing this bad egg, we're whipping it back into shape. All right, be careful playing God here, Nick. Yeah. So I suspect by now you know what NordVPN does. Hell, by now you've probably seen and is useful for thousands of months before they release in the United used in this video that you're watching right now. There are way, way more uses for NordVPN than I have time to list here, but luckily, you can hit and use coupon code Nick Robinson to get an exclusive discount on your membership. That's nordvpn.com slash Nick Robinson, coupon code Nick Robinson. Step five. End right, game! So we've got the save file. Bring the blast toys back. Hex. Oh wait, can you select the bad egg in this software? Or do we just create a new Pokemon? What's the Create it in the slot where the bad egg was. Interesting. This feels very uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I feel like <laughs> it does. A right now of his yeah, original blast. Right, Literally, right it does. The Abra. Now, what we're going to do. That's a great is anime, by the way. Great show. We're going to fill in these boxes on the left. Okay, so first of all, uh, change the species to blast. That's a very good. Uh, then you pick, pick, copy the number that I sent you. This is the number that I extracted from both the Hall of Fame data and the corrupted data. This is a personality. I've got your Blastoise's soul on my clipboard right now. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I drop that in, it's put in the nature field that it's a mild Blastoise, that it's a female Blastoise, that its ability was torrent. So this is your Blastoise. This is so sick. Okay, so I'm gonna do another bit mask real quick. No clue what that means, but I trust you. Yes, it's a classic program. I do on the same page. <laughs> it's like a sci-fi movie. I'm like, English, damn it! English! Here's the calculation I did to figure out the level. It is level 89. Ooh. Wow, that's a high-level Blastoise, my man. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it is really funny that you wanted more levels. <laughs> 300 hours in. 11 rare candies, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so your Blastoise had 735,000 experience when you beat the Elite Four, and then you Dang. added on top of that uh, 2.1 1 billion. <laughs> to reach, uh, to reach a yeah. total of 2.2 billion experience. Yeah. So, level 89, species, nickname, nature, ability, friendship. Met in Pallet Town and Leaf Green, level 5, Pokeball. All the stats are here. Should we just do random IVs and EVs? Yeah, yeah, do yeah. it. Would you like to do the honors? Just click it a few wow. times. Look at that, they're all 31. <laughs> well, what an amazing roll. That's a good one, right? You'll, 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 you'll stop at three stars. 
Do we need to put in any contest stats? I don't think we would have ever done a contest. I see. So that's yeah, and you don't strike me as a contest type. <laughs> <laughs> you, with, with, when you have the Pokemon having all nothing but attacks, not really a contest type. Yeah. Speaking of that, you remember what the four attacks were, right? Yeah, absolutely. Name them. Hydro Cannon, Hydro Pump, Surf, and Skull Bash. Yeah. Amazing. Remember the two turn. Yeah. Wait, wait, one thing real quick. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a um, an exclamation mark at the top there. Can you click that? Invalid encounter type PID mismatch. Hmm. So let, let me look at what that means, because this is something I've never heard of. Oh. What's up? Oh, no. Oh, well, this is freaking annoying. Uh, this is something I haven't looked into before. So it turns out that it looks like... Uh oh. It looks like there's a certain relationship between the yeah between the personality and the IVs that's like dependent on the exact random seed algorithm they use or whatever that the legality checker actually checks maybe. Okay. Well, it's glad, oh. I'm glad that it's warning us because the reason we're jumping through all these hoops to get all this stuff perfect is so this will be considered a legal Pokemon by contemporary Pokemon game standards and it will let oh. us move it all the way into yeah. the future. I would definitely make the effort to get this thing into the cloud. I want it safe. So does that mean we could find out a com the, the correct combination yeah, how do we backwards? How do we, has that been reverse engineered? Maybe, I, I'm looking into it right, right now. Can I just click randomize IVs in the meantime until that until exclamation <laughs> mark goes away? It seems extremely unlikely that that will happen. Uh, it's only IVs, not EVs, but yeah, try it. Why not? All right, I'll just like keep gently clicking. <laughs> It'll be uh, hopefully somebody watching this video. Can <laughs> it seems like you'd win the lottery the before you get would that. Work. Yeah. Just so we know how much we're wasting our. Our that be thirty-two to the six there. Does that mean that you just won't be able to bring it forward into future games? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. It, it'll you'll be able to bring it as far as Generation Five, but mm. probably Bank will stop it. Mm. Okay. Noted. Frankly, this was a tough setback. On the one hand, we'd recovered nearly everything about Harrison's original Blastoise, and that was great. But without knowing her original IV stats, there'd be no way for Harrison to bring her forward into the modern Pokemon games, and I could tell Harrison was a little disappointed by that. Sure, mm. we'd mostly succeeded in recreating this Blastoise, but that success was starting to feel like something of a Pyrrhic victory. I didn't want to admit it, but I was beginning to doubt whether this even counted as resurrecting the same creature. After all, if the newer Pokemon games would reject this Blastoise for not being a legitimate Pokemon, could we honestly even claim we brought her back? Can I just take this real quick? Yeah, sure. Yeah, before we finish up. Yeah. Oh, no. To make matters worse, Harrison's flight back home was fast approaching, meaning we were almost out of time. Oh, no. I, my instinct is that it'll be less stressful for you if we either find you a new flight or you fly tomorrow? I got a, I, I have an employee that's just like, might be quitting, so I kind of have oh, to Oh, God. Yeah, okay. So it's like, ooh. Okay. Yeah, Bill, I'm dealing with a flight stuff, too, now. So well, now there's a time too. crunch. I'll say this, like... We're getting to the end of the anesthesia on the operating table type of thing. <laughs> the patient is waking up. <laughs> Come on, right. swear it off quick. Uh, yo, there's there's some cheap ass flights. Oh go. my god! We found the IVs! Oh <laughs> what? There's only what? one there's only one set of IVs that actually corresponds to this personality value. Wait. What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me Bill, do you hear that? That's the last piece of the puzzle. Oh my. Yes! Hold on. That's me... the, the last thing that makes this Blastoise who it is. So, hold on. I've got the... No. I've got the... I've got the... <laughs> this dude, is insane. I'm, I'm, so it's the software uh, RNG reporter that you sent me, right? Yeah, RNG reporting. Bro. And, uh, and then... Uh, oh, that's... Not, yeah. How do you yeah, find it? Uh, How do you find the IVs? And then uh, PID to IVs. There's a... There's, I can't believe this exists. Shout out to Pokemon fans, dude. Holy crap. This is crazy. I think I might have to manually type it in. A nine D F seven A one B. Generate. How? So, method two and four are only used for wild Pokemon, which means that the only method that could have been used is method one. Got it. So, let's type these in. Five. Nine. 
five nine seventeen. Oh my god, please. Please. 31, 31. Please work. Five nine seventeen twenty five thirty one thirty one. Click the Do exclamation it. mark at one time. Legal! <laughs> Legal! <laughs> no, 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 look at this. the greatest pop-up I've ever seen. What? Legal. Oh my god. Oh Legal. my Alert. Legal. god. Let's go. Alright, so we'll go back to the box, right? What? And right where, the, where, right where the corrupted egg is. We're going to right-click on it. You want to click set here real quick? Absolutely. All right. Oh. So, Ooh. now we did it though. We've done it. Now, to, we last step is to get it on the cartridge, right? Yep. So, so what you do now is just save this save file and transfer it on over. Dude, that's crazy. We're clicking save. All right, it's saved. Okay. All I'm gonna do is pop it in the console. Let's find out. Oh boy. All right, I'm going to eject. I'm going to eject it. See if it works. Bill knows how long this has been in the works. This is crazy. Now he has this to is, just plug it in like normal right, into a Game Boy Advance okay. here. We got the original hardware over here. We'll pop that out. Here we go. Good luck. One one quick blow, <laughs> for good luck. Oh. Let's see it. <laughs> of course. You you have to put it in one time. And then it, it always takes at least one try. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, that's not good. What? The uh, the power switch is now stuck. I played the thing to death until the buttons wore out on my Game Boy. I can't have anything easy. Uh, on the SP, huh? Yeah. Well, that's why I brought a spare. Dude. He brought a yeah, spare. Oh this my man. god. This blast twist has been gone. For this a man long. is dedicated this to Pokemon. Can finally be healed. <laughs> yeah. After all these years. After all these yeah. years. I'm so excited about this. This cartridge has been sitting around both physically in my like little like Game Boy drawer. And yeah. also, it's been sitting around like the back of my head for literally 15 years. This whole process has been an emotional roller coaster. Uh, yeah, to say the least. Oh my god. All right, let's see. Continue. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, is it gonna pop up? Let's see. I, there's no time to wait here. Uh, Bill, I, I can't. Like, this has been overwhelming to watch. It's, it's a yeah. This is like a kind of nuts journey here. <laughs> oh, oh dear God. Is it in there? Is it in there? You got the PC. <laughs> Will it pop up? Bill's PC? Not you, Bill. Wrong Bill. <laughs> There's Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Is it there? Oh. We struggled to successfully clone a Pokemon to prove our theories, but you're the first specimen to survive. She is. And she's back. She's back. She's home, Let's she's go. Congrats. Oh this my congrats. god. This is insane. That's like, crazy. This, this, this should not have been possible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? We're back. We're back, Bill. Dude, there's wow. Her. She's back in slot one. Right where she needs to Let's be. Let's take a look at her, dude. Let's look at your uh, the summary screen. Oh, absolutely. Let's look at your party, yeah. Pokemon. Let's hear her cry. Mild nature, met in Pallet Town. How many years ago? Wow. This is literally like 2006 here. Dude, hey. fucking congrats. Man. Thank you, man. That is crazy. What? <laughs> the leaps and bounds that had to go to get through to oh my god this is insane the amount of hoops they had to jump through is what we i was brought, trying to say <laughs> her back to life. oh this my god <laughs> i can't believe we did it like just before your flight just before my flight i'm panicking over the details yeah and he's like i found the ivs yeah literally That's as you're insane. like on the phone with the airline trying to resolve this bell let me give you a good luck over here yeah show him show him yeah, the goods 
Can't wait. Here you go, Phil. And I'll just. Oh my goodness. And we're going back. Look at that, Phil. Doesn't look a day old. Over 15. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dang. What? Yo. That is crazy. This is how, must be how it feels to save a life. Yeah, um, I know, right? Incredible. <laughs> Damn, dude. Congrats, though. This is this is uh, really cool. That's crazy. I, I've never seen anything like this. This has been in the back of my head literally since I was seven years old. You were like, what if there's a way? What if there's a way? Like, what if this egg, like, what if this data still has some worth? Yeah. Bill knows I don't forget things, and this has literally never. been in my head for 15 years. That must, do you feel relieved? Absolutely. Like, this shouldn't have, like, how the hell is this possible? Uh, it's, it's insane. And the, and the fact that we had just the, all the right assistance, all the right tools, all the right hardware, it feels like a, a miracle. Thank you very much, Hariso. Uh, Hariso. You know, sorry, I'll call you your actual name. Thank you very much, Hariso. Hariso. That's fine by me. Yeah, thank you. You're kind of you're kind of the, the hero behind the scenes. It's here. very true. You're like Absolutely. Uh, thanks so much, dog. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. Amazing. Well, Harrison, it was great meeting you. Thanks Absolutely. for coming out. Take take good care of her. Uh, it's not often you get to reconnect with a with a long deceased pet. Oh, I wow. know, right? Oh, we're, we're, I'm going to save very carefully. <laughs> yeah, you save, save. In the game. Oh, no more game sharks. Game. No more Incredible. action replays. No more cheating. No oh, more okay hacking. Okay. Beautiful. You hear that noise, Bill? It's saved. We're good. Oh, baby. We're good. Um, let's go. Both saved, and it is saved. <laughs> in, in every sense of the word. Wow. And with that, that is Harrison crazy. hurried off to catch his flight home, and each of us parted ways, satisfied by a job well done. Fast forward to today. It's about 24 hours before this video comes out, and I shoot Harrison a text letting him know that it's finally finished. This was his reply. If I haven't thanked you enough, thank you again for all this effort. There was a hole in my stomach for 15 <laughs> years from this mistake. Wow. I know you understand personally how such an inconsequential thing can be so absurdly meaningful. Putting this all back together was a once in a lifetime experience. I owe you one, man. Thanks, of course, to Harry for reaching out with this idea, to Scout, our phenomenal animator, for the illustrated segment at the beginning. Thank you to Gary, of course, for his irreplaceable assistance in getting this done. Thank you to my brother Robert for helping film. Thank you to my friend Ryan for helping edit this whole monstrosity. We've been working on this for over three months now, and I'm really glad it's done. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to support more high effort videos like this, please click the join button under this video. It's the best way to support the channel and you get a bunch of bonus content as well. And yeah, see you next time. Wow. That was crazy. Hey there, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more of my content, feel free to subscribe. If you want to see even more content, I film all of my videos live on my Twitch channel. Feel free to click the first link in the description. Be sure to follow my Twitch channel and know exactly when I go live. Interact with me live on stream as well as other people in chat and see a look behind the scenes on every video that I film. Thank you so much. Bye.